Hi everyone. Today I'll show you how you can build a non-contact voltage detector for checking of live power wires. A transistor is a device that can be used in two basic operations, as an electronic switch or as an amplifier. Depending on the current we apply to its base, it can control a much larger current through the collector and emitter pad with a typical multiplication of around 200 times. This is called the transistor gain. By connecting the output of one transistor to the base of another, we can multiply this gain to now get an amplification of 40,000 times. By building a circuit with three such stages, we can create a device that is capable of detecting even the tiniest charges and movement of electricity. To begin, take a piece of paraboard with at least 5 to 6 rows of holes. I'm using this 2 by 8 cm board that I've purchased online. Place the first transistor on the first row of holes and the second one one row apart. Additionally, move the second transistor one hole up so its meter aligns with the base of the first transistor. Same as with the second transistor. The third one is placed one row apart with its emitter being aligned with the base of the second transistor. All three of the resistors connect to the collectors of the transistors and the values are all marked on the schematic. The full link is in the video description. The LED is connected with its negative side to the resistor on the first transistor and its positive side is then common with the resistors. The sensor for the circuit will be this copper rod that I've soldered on the top of the PCB and it's then connected with a piece of wire to the base of the third transistor. The entire circuit is powered with a 9V battery and as soon as you bring it close to the wires connected to mains voltage, the LED starts flickering. While this is a nice indicator for isolated cables, it should never be used to test bare wires. For testing open contacts, only use proper isolated measuring equipment. As a final experiment, I wanted to see how the detector will react with one more stage, so I soldered one more transistor with a 5 megaohm resistor, so we now got 4 stages in total of amplification. The detector is a bit more sensitive now, where it can detect the wire a bit further apart, but it's also more sensitive to false triggering to a static electricity as well. I hope that you liked this video, so hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more videos in future. Cheers and thanks for watching.